Susan Gardner here from Municipal World. We're at the 2019 Annual Conference of the Federation of Canadian Municipalities in beautiful Quebec City. Joining me in the Municipal World Media Centre is Mayor Don Arnold from the City of Moncton, New Brunswick. Welcome! Thank you, Susan. It's great to be here. So, uh, FCM, uh, lots of great stuff going on here. It's coming also on the heels of the uh, Canadian Municipal Administrators Conference that was held earlier in the week. And Moncton was uh, a winner, took home a couple of uh, a couple of uh, honors. Yeah, about. actually, uh, two of the eight, so twenty five percent of all the awards in the nation are going to Moncton. One, Moncton. one for uh, our immigration strategy, and one for um, the environmental impact of our uh, new state of the art sports and entertainment center called the Avenir Center. Okay, so tell us about the Avenir Center. What is what is that and why is it so special? Well, it's gorgeous, first of all, and it's had, uh, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of will to build a center like that in the world that we live in today. So, uh, you know, it, it took a lot of work over the years, different impact analysis and economic analysis and parking analysis and that sort of thing. But uh, last September we opened it and it's been a huge success and it was, um, was a design, build, operate, and manage uh, or um, agreement with uh, SMG Canada. Uh, but the beauty of this was that it the uh, the operator and manager worked with the construction company from day one, so they were able to uh, you know use all of the best practices that they uh, acquired uh, by running uh, uh, you know buildings like this around the world into our, our building. So it's it's really state of the art from an accessibility perspective. You know, we had our whole accessibility committee was in there. So, you know, wheelchair, sight, uh, every kind of um, uh, accessibility uh, initiative is integrated into that building. So that's really terrific. That you know, terrific. everyone is comfortable yeah. and can get in easily. And uh, no, it's been, it's been a great success. I mean, the whole goal of building something like that in your downtown core yeah. is to revitalize your downtown. Right. And um, we're already seeing, uh, you know, over $75 million in building permits in the direct vicinity of the building. And, and it's funny because for two years, everywhere I went, people were like, oh, you're crazy. Why are you building it there? There's going to be no place to park. I'm never going to go. Well, people are going. Okay. Yeah. They are finding places to park. And they're enjoying the walk there. And that's part of the whole experience is, is the walk yeah. to the center. So it's been pretty fantastic. There's always that element of risk when you make an investment oh, yeah. in a new public facility. And there's always people who are naysayers. But it sounds like it's worked out wonderfully. It's and been the great. So prompted. Yeah. So congratulations on that. Why, thank you. So tell us about the immigration strategy because that's pretty special too. Yeah, so we did this a number of years ago and um, it's actually finished our first one. We are now working on our second one. I, I, I mean, like mirrors across the country, my number one issue is talent attraction. We have the jobs. We need the people. So how how do we really lead that? How do we work together with all kinds of different partners to ensure that not only are we attracting the people you know, that we need to fill those jobs, that they will stay afterwards. So retention is a big part of it. And and how do we how do we make people feel comfortable in our community? So so as I said, like that first strategy, we pretty much ticked all the boxes and accomplished that. And we're working on our second one now. So that's feeling pretty good. And in our, our you know greater Moncton area, we've had over two thousand people a, a year. This is which is really beyond all the other trends. So we're trying to keep that going. That's fantastic. So what, what does that strategy involve? Uh, how do you get, uh, uh, how, are you, how are you attracting and, and keeping those folks? Well, working with industry, for sure. You know, making sure that we can kind of, um, you know, connect people, the right people to the right jobs. But also I think when you're in a, you know, mid-sized city like yeah. Moncton, we can, we have some of those extra special touches, you know, the kind of the concierge service, because it's, it's not just about that person and that job. It's also about their family often and, and their kids. And, and, you know, will they have music lessons and, and what kind of schools are there and, you know, what the transportation is like. like it's, it's so much more than just one person, one job. It's, and, and that's what I think a mid-sized city like Moncton can really provide. So one thing that I'm asking uh, a lot of the mayors, and this ties in with you know what you're doing around the uh, the immigration strategy, 
um, if you wanted to, you know, uh, convince me to come and live in London, what would you say? Oh my goodness, you know, it's it's really interesting because it's it's hard to define. So just recently, we brought a thousand jobs, uh, TD jobs to Moncton and a lot of my work over the last year has been pitching some of the people that were working in Toronto to come to live in, in Moncton and um, it, it's hard to define sometimes what it means to know that your kids can walk to school safely just down the street and that you're part of a neighborhood that cares and that you don't have to spend hours um, commuting and that we have this social connectivity you know where everyone knows a guy who knows a guy and, and and that you can you can make things happen so those are all sort of intangible so it's hard to articulate but after these uh td jobs were there and it's set up there are a thousand new people coming to our community for just these jobs uh, i i meet the the new employees on the street and they're like oh hi mayor donna hi it's we're here now you know my whole family's here my wife thinks she's died and gone to heaven, like it's just so great. We're really so happy in our community. So I think it's far better when others can tell the story of our communities because sometimes we take them for granted, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely, we don't see all the things that no. uh, somebody sees with fresh eyes when they come in. It's... No, like as someone who has just recently moved from uh, Toronto, another person, she was telling me about in her kitchen, she has two young daughters and they have a chalkboard. And on their chalkboard, they've listed over 50 different uh, animals that they've seen in their backyard. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's very cool. You know, so that's it. Those are sort of the intangibles of what you can you can have in a in a smaller center. That's fantastic. Um, any other uh, highlights that you want to uh, talk about that are happening in Moncton right now? Well, it's uh, it's going to be a very busy summer in, in Moncton. And actually, in the month of August, we are welcoming the World Acadian Congress to Moncton. So very excited about that. So there will be people, Acadians from all over. But you don't have to be Acadian to come. So uh, a really a fun celebration. Um, the, the 15th of August is a, a National Acadian Day. And it's something called the Tentama takes place, where people bang drums. And there's a big parade and celebration of Acadian culture. So that's going to be going on uh, for a couple of weeks in in August I, I mean it's just it's non-stop we have a huge concert at Magnetic Hill with Luke Bryan we have eight Cirque du Soleil shows we have I know it's just uh, it's it's Nickelback's coming to Moncton I mean it's we've got something for everyone so just really encourage people to come for a visit this summer awesome so lots of reasons to come visit Moncton you got it summer months great thank you so much for Anytime. joining us thanks I'm Susan Gardner from Municipal World, here with Mayor Don Arnold from City of Moncton. We share your stories.